Hi, Tracy here from To Do Do. Today we're going to look at syllable division. Now I'm just going to show you the very simplest ways to divide words into syllables. And there are more complicated ways than this, but this gives you the first two, which gives you access to hundreds and hundreds of words. So these first four words here that I've selected are actually what we call compound words. So they're actually two words that are put together to make one longer word. So with the word here, sunshine, it's made up of the word sun. And then made up of the word shine. Playground is made up of play and ground. Bath towel is bath and towel. Children will meet these words from very, very young age and they come to recognise them quite easily. So they'll recognise play or sun and they'll be able to use the context to know the rest of the word. So teach them to look. Okay, there's two small words here. What are the two small words? So that gets you through quite a lot of words that children meet in the early stages. Now the next words that I've chosen are actually words which follow a pattern where we're looking for a vowel followed by a consonant, a second consonant and then a vowel. And we would normally cut between the two consonant letters. There's a couple of exceptions to that. Particularly we would not separate if it was a C and a K, they would stay together. A TH would stay together, an SH would stay together, a CH would stay together. They're the most common ones. So word like bucket, we would keep the C and the K together. So when we're doing this, we're now looking to see where's the vowels, where's the consonant. So simplest way is to, to actually mark them on. A vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, and I go vowel, consonant, chop. So now I can sound out the first part. P, ick, pick, n, ick, nick, pick, nick, pick, nick. Let's do the same with the next word, so I'm looking for vowel. Notice I don't start on the first letter, I start with the first vowel I find. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, chop. So I'd go w, o, m, wom, b, at, bat. So you can hear I sounded out one syllable, made that syllable, then sounded out the second syllable. Let's look at the next one. So I've got here vowel. Consonant, consonant, vowel, so I go vowel, consonant, chop, b, ut, but, l, er, uh, butler. And let's look at this one here at the bottom. Consonant, now I've actually got extra consonants in there, but I still go vowel, consonant, chop. So I've got b, ot, bot, tull, bottle. Now just look at how we do bucket. We would go vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. It's a very common pattern, there's lots and lots of words that would follow this pattern, it's the simplest way to split syllables. But because the C and the K are actually one sound, we would on this occasion separate after, so we go buck, et, bucket. So I hope that gives you some ideas on how you can split words into syllables. There's lots more work on the Choose to Do website helping children to do these basic skills to help them access reading and spelling. Thanks for, joining, for following us on Choose to Do.